Hi everyone. Let's take a look at number twenty-two on page twenty-one. Find the points on the graph of y equal to one over three x cubed minus five x minus four divided by x, at which the tangent is horizontal. Step one: write down the first principle. F prime of x equals to the limit of f of x plus h minus f of x. All over h, as h is approaching to zero. So when you plug this back in, f prime of x equals to the limit, as h is approaching to zero. You can factor one over h to the front. F of x plus h becomes one over three times x plus h quantity cube minus five times x plus h. Minus four divided by x plus h minus. So again, this first piece is right here. F of x. Again, put the brackets. One over three x cube minus five x minus four divided by x. Close the brackets, just like that. Now, before we continue. You want to be mindful that your goal is to have h over h at the end. So as you're solving this, basically the second last step, you're going to get h divided by h, and when that equals to one, you know you're one step away from the final answer. So if you continue, f prime of x equals to the limit as h is approaching to zero of one over h times One over three times. Now, when you expand this perfect cube, this becomes x to the power of three plus three times x squared times h plus three times x times h squared plus h cube minus five times x minus five times h. Now we're gonna collect like terms. We're gonna group these two terms together. Minus four over x plus h plus four over x minus one over three x cube plus five x. And again, if you begin with the end in mind, because h over h becomes one, that means when you expand this and you collect like terms, all the terms without the h attached to it must disappear. So, f prime. Of x equals to the limit as h is approaching to zero of one over h times. When I expand this, it's going to be one over three x cube plus x square times h plus x times h square plus one over three times h cube. Again, even in the previous line, notice how there's negative five x and positive five x that you can cross out. Minus five h. Let's use the same color. Minus five h. Minus one over three x cube. Now, I'm going to combine these two terms as one fraction. So the common denominator is going to be the product x plus h. Times x. If you combine them, you multiply the first piece by x over x, which will give you negative 4x. You multiply the second fraction by x plus h. That's going to give you 4x plus 4h. And you're adding this at the end. So again, as you're collecting like terms, negative 4x plus 4x that will disappear. Also. If you look at the other terms, you would discover that one over three x cube minus one over three x cube that would disappear as well. Now, here's the most important step. Your goal is to factor h to the front. So, I'm going to write this out again for you. F prime of x equals to the limit. As h is approaching to zero of one over h times, now I'm going to factor h to the front. 
So from the first term, there's x squared. In the second term, xh plus 1 over 3h squared minus 5. I can also factor h from the fraction, plus 4 divided by x plus h times x. Now this is the most important step. The fact that you can factor h over h to the front, this means you're one step away from the final answer. So now you go back and you plug in h to be 0, so f prime of x equals to x squared plus x times h, which is 0 now, plus 1 third times 0 squared minus 5 plus 4 divided by x plus 0 times x. When you simplify this, f prime of x equals to x squared minus 5 plus 4 over x squared. So again, these terms will become 0. Now, when you go back to the beginning, they also gave you the fact that the tangent is going to be horizontal. If the tangent is going to be horizontal, that means the slope is going to be 0. So you can equate this to 0. And again, your goal is to find the points. And there'll be more than a point, as you see. Now, to find x, you have to multiply both sides by x squared. So you can multiply the left side and the right side by x squared. This will give you x to the 4 minus 5x squared plus 4, which equals to 0. You can factor this. This becomes x squared minus 4 times x squared minus 1. If you apply the difference of squares, x squared minus 4 becomes x minus 2 times x plus 2. Likewise, x squared minus 1 becomes x minus 1 times x plus 1. So x equals 2 plus or minus 2 or plus or minus 1. So there are four points. You have to go back and plug it back to the original so you can find f of 1, f of negative 1, f of 2, f of negative 2. And again, we're going back to the basic function. So we're really looking at y equal to 1 over 3x cubed minus 5x minus 4 over x. So this is where you plug it back in to the beginning. Now, this I'll leave to you to work on. But if you plug it back in, uh, the first point when x is 1, the corresponding y value is going to be negative 26 over 3. If you plug in x to be negative 1, that's positive 26 over 3. If you plug in x to be 2, y is going to be negative 28 over 3. When you plug in x to be negative 2, that's going to be 28 over 3. So this means there are four points, and therefore the points are 1, negative 26 over 3, negative 1, 26 over 3, 2, negative 28 over 3, and negative 2, 28 over 3. Now, to double check your answers, you can always graph this and confirm. So just by graphing this with uh, Desmos, you can see there are four points. And again, it's an introduction to the next lesson. Be mindful that the slope is zero when you have a horizontal line, which is exactly how you find the corresponding maximums and minimums. So I hope this makes sense.